Oh no, Brainyard, looks like your oven's broken, and all you have left in the fridge is that package of uncooked chicken breast. Oh well, food is food, right? Might as well throw a little hot sauce on that thing and dig in. Mm -mm -mm. Who wants to take time to cook chicken anyways? Except, no, stop right there. This is absolutely mind-numbingly, stomach-churningly bad. There's a reason we cook our meats, Brainyard. In fact, humans have been doing it for quite some time now. So why don't you pause on your feast for just a second? Let's take you through exactly what happens when you eat raw poultry, and why human beings started cooking meat in the first place. And also talk about some rare occasions when it is actually okay to eat raw chicken. If you've ever wondered when exactly humans started cooking their food, you're you're not alone. This is still one of the most hotly debated topics in the archaeological world. One of the reasons it's so particularly hard to pin down a date is because it's also incredibly hard to say when humans started making fire. There is fossil evidence that shows our distant ancestors, Homo erectus, used fire about 1.6 million years ago. The problem is there's no way to know if it was natural fire or fire that Homo erectus made. One of the big busters of the theory that we started using using fire at this time is when the Homo erectus moved out of Africa about one million years ago, they didn't bring fire with them. I mean, it's fire. It's arguably the most transformative discovery in the history of well ever. If humans knew how to make it, then well, what were they doing leaving it all behind and not making fires as they moved north? Turns out that fire could have been introduced by Neanderthals many years later. Consistent fires finally started to show up about 400,000 years ago. But again, this is debated. And not all Neanderthal camps used fire, which brings us back to the same debunker. If you knew how to make fire, why weren't you using it? One thing is for certain, whether it was really Homo erectus that first discovered fire over a million years ago, or Neanderthals about half a million years ago, what we do know is that 12,000 years ago, fire was finally mastered. I guess after enough tries, we finally realize you just keep rubbing two sticks together and you'll get it. But what about the advantages of cooking meat? Why not just eat it as is? Turns out there's quite a few benefits to tossing that shrimp on the body. Cooked food is easier for our stomachs to digest, which means we can absorb more calories from it. As hunters and gatherers, this made each catch of the day much more nourishing, and scientists even theorize this boost in calories from our food was what allowed us to slowly develop bigger brains. Another important quality of cooked meat, it's quicker and easier to eat. Gnawing at the same piece of meat right off the bone takes quite a bit of time and precious calories. Cooking and then eating meat meant less time and less work for our intestines. Another leading theory suggests that this is what led our bodies to develop smaller teeth, smaller jaws, and have a generally less hearty digestive tract. Again, this meant more energy and resources from our bodies that could go to our now developing brains. Here's the other no-brainer. Cooking meat also sanitizes it. There are tons of bacteria on the surface of raw meat. By cooking it at temperatures over 160 degrees, all that disease-causing bacteria will go bye-bye, and you'll now have a meal that's safe to eat. But brain, you're, you're in a bind. Again, that oven is out. You want to eat, and you want to eat now. That chicken breast is starting to look tastier and tastier. Yes, you've heard what we said about improved calorie intake and efficient digestion, but you're hungry. So what happens if you just decide to wolf down that chicken raw? Well, the truth is, not every time you eat raw meat, you get sick. Again, we don't recommend this at all, but it wouldn't kill you. Nah, but hold on, there's no reason to bite in. There's some other pretty serious consequences to eating raw chicken, and you better know what they are before you decide to brave them. It's very possible that you would get food poisoning from eating that raw chicken breast. The actual raw meat, as well as all of its juices, can contain Campylobacter bacteria, or sometimes Salmonella and Clostridium perfrigens. If you get these in you, you can bet you won't be feeling too good. Stomach cramps, nausea, and diarrhea would be at your very near future. And here's the thing, you may not experience the effects right away. Salmonella can move fast in as little as six hours, but it's not unheard of for the Campylobacter bacteria to take six days before symptoms show up. By then, you might not even remember that you ate raw meat, huh? What's this? You decided not to take my advice, Brainyard? <laughs> You're gonna go forth with eating that raw chicken? Oh no. Please, no. And he's done it. He did it. Great. So what's the plan now? You've eaten the raw meat. And as time goes on, now you're seeing the symptoms, and it's starting to look like you won't get away scot-free with this one. <sighs> Told you, Brainyard. What can you do now? 
Well, unfortunately, you kind of just have to wait it out. Doctors recommend eating more bland meals and staying as hydrated as you can while your system slowly but surely gets back to normal. If things aren't looking like they're improving, you may have a more serious infection and have to go see the doctor. They will then prescribe antibiotics and get you on your way. I didn't mean to scare you, Brainyard, but this is serious stuff. Food poisoning is no fun, and you can be out of commission for days at a time until things improve. I recommend taking extra care to check the meat that you eat to make sure that everything is cooked properly. The biggest indicator of undercooked meat is the color. If everything is A-OK, -okay, then the meat should be white. If things are pink or even a little bit bloody, it's not done and should be put back in the oven ASAP. Thing is, Brainyard, if you train as a chef and really know what you're doing, there are methods of preparing chicken that includes serving it raw. Chicken sashimi is one such dish. The meat is seared or boiled for no more than 10 seconds, and that's it. The cut of meat is also very important. Chicken sashimi uses thinly sliced cuts and cubes from the inner part of a chicken breast, which has the least likely chance of carrying salmonella. Hey, looks like you can eat raw chicken after all, Brainyard, once you're a professional chef, that is. But let's take a second to quell one quick rumor about eating raw chicken, and that has to do with a super nasty little parasite called a tapeworm. It's true, eating raw beef or pork can indeed cause you to catch this disgusting parasite, also known as teniasis. Having a tapeworm is a particularly nasty thing because a lot of the time, people won't even know that they've contracted one. The symptoms are usually very mild and sometimes non-existent. What you have to look out for is nausea, diarrhea, fever, and even fatigue. If your condition worsened, you would start to develop a fever, headache, chills, aching joints, even constipation. Some people have even experienced loss of their dexterity and movement abilities. In and even developed heart and breathing problems. In some rare cases, death can even occur. But here's the good news. These little menaces do not reside in poultry. So if there's one thing you don't need to worry about when eating raw chicken, it's a tapeworm. I guess that's some good news, huh, Brainyard? So what can you take away from all this? Eating raw chicken is a terrible idea. I'd say that if you have a choice to do it, or don't when your oven is out, I'd say it's a hard don't. All that bacteria is really something to look out for. There's a reason we cook our foods. It makes them easier to digest, rids them of those potentially nasty diseases that may be lurking on the surface of the meat, and most importantly of all, it makes them taste so much better. If you really are wanting to try raw chicken for science, then I say have a professional chef prepare some chicken sashimi. And if your oven is out, then may that be a lesson to you, Brainyard. Always have some non-perishables on hand, things that you can actually eat without cooking. See you later, Brainiacs.